They tell you a lot of lies, man. They tell you a lot of lies, man. Oh, that's a lie right there, that number right there. What's that? It, I don't, what's that 21 mean? I don't know. It's, what's going on, man? Okay, this is night. What night is it? What day is it? It is, uh. What day is it? It's Thursday, January 11th. Thursday, January 11th. Oh my god. Hey. I have a new phone. I want to get rid of this fucking thing. This is kind of annoying here. Oh, and this is annoying too how it's just showing this. I gotta get rid of this. Okay, two nights in a row. Last night was the test stream. Tonight's the real stream. Concrete. We have one comment. It says concrete. Van Divis. Is that your real name? Van Divisets? Concrete. I need. Hi, everybody. My name is Neil P. I liked your Smashing Pumpkins video. Well, I like you. My name's Neil Patterson, I'm a dude, and I'm here in my basement with a musician I met on TikTok. Hey. This hey. is This is Izzy. Izzy, say hi. Hello. Welcome to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time here. So. First time to the internet? Yeah. Lies. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna unhook this because I wanna I wanna have freedom. It's crazy seeing like me in like two seconds in the past and me like ten seconds in the past. Well, right now we're in the present, but you're also in the past. Does that make any Crazy. sense? Crazy. It doesn't make any sense to me. Thank you. Sick bass. Hey. Okay, cool. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a thing. And I used to have this podcast. I gotta get rid of this fucking thing. Hold on one sec. Here, okay. kill some time. Cool. We can swear. Swear in here. Oh yeah, say fucking shit and all that. Fucking shit and all that. That's the thing, it, like check it out. If I'm not playing an instrument, I don't have to be restricted by the stupid the stupid mic thing. You know Hell that? yeah. Oh, I just fucked it all up. Ah <laughs> Cool. Alright, where's your reverb? Boom. <laughs> Okay, I play a six-string Yamaha bass. It says Drailthy, but admittedly, I rarely use the high C string. Admittedly, I use the high C string too much. Okay, so y'all have the opposite problem. Exactly. But everyone, uh, we're here. I got Izzy in the house, uh, and we're, I met them on TikTok, I think. And then I hit them up on Instagram. I was like, yo, dude, uh, we know a lot of the same people, and you're a rad bass player. And I'm doing this thing. So I used to have this podcast, right? And it's getting kind of stale. So I'm going to try new types of content, like getting uh, people in a room and playing music and talking about life and doing other shit. So I don't want to just sit and ask people questions, but there will be some of that tonight. So, yeah. So here we are on the Internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So first question, people 
give you shit about going to Berkeley. It's called Berkeley College of Music. Is it yes. institute or college? It's a college. Get up music. to the mic. It's Berkeley College of Music. Okay. And it is very much a college. I mean, it's really cool. It's like the only music school that is like a university that is just for music. Um, people <laughs> yeah. What's people's issue with Berkeley, would you say? There, uh, people have an opinion of Berkeley, and that opinion is true, but like only a small percentage of the time. And the opinion is that like people go to Berkeley who are like untalented, and their parents are just paying for them to go to Berkeley, and like the classes are all bullshit, and and it's all bad, and it's expensive, and like it is expensive. And some people's parents pay for them, and some people are untalented, and some of the classes are boring, but 90% of that is not true. This is my question to you. Are you you're talented. I think <laughs> Izzy's talented, and your parents, uh, you're not one of those people whose parents are paying for you to go to No. Berkeley. Yeah. Not at all. No, yeah. I got a scholarship, but even if I didn't, I mean, if I didn't get a scholarship, I would not be going there, but, like, it is amazing. I mean, I learned so much in one semester, like... There's there's an infinite amount of stuff to learn, and there are so many classes that are, like, really fun. What's your opinion on people coming to conclusions about stuff they know nothing about? I don't like that, and they do that a <laughs> lot on TikTok. They do that so much. They're like, Berkeley seems like a scam. I'm like, okay. W when I moved out to L.A., everyone told me, they're like, don't go out to L.A., Every single person in that city is fake, and they will destroy you. That's what they tell me, too. Yeah. And yeah. I go to L.A., and I'm fine. Yeah. Well, there are cool people everywhere. I wrote a song about it. Blithering Rando says, School is great for people that are passionate about the subjects they study. Yes, and, and you know what? Without calling <laughs> anyone out, I have met a lot of people, not a lot, a few people at Berkeley who are not passionate about studying music. Um, and... I, like, could not talk to them because I'm like, why are you, like, it's so expensive to come and not like it. Like, if you don't like it, just go. Just leave. You can drop out at any time. On a similar note, I went to art school at the College of Creative Studies in Detroit, and I got a little scholarship. Not like a full ride or anything, but it was wild how many people were just there because it's almost like, I don't know what I'm going to do or what I'm passionate about. Why don't I just spend twenty thousand dollars a semester on this yeah like, exactly yeah, it's like, like just like guessing oh here's a question uh i study quantum engineering chris fain says do you let the untalented people know their condition <laughs> i haven't m actually met anyone that was untalented at berkeley everyone i met is talented in some way on some level at something related to music and a lot of people are talented in multiple mediums i mean definitely they still like they only let half of the applicants in I think maybe they should let less people in just because of the fact that it's overpopulated. But other than that, I mean, everyone I meet is good at music. So I, I couldn't even. And even if they weren't, like, why would I say that? You'd be kind of a dick. Yeah. <laughs> if you were like, hey, by the way, you're one of those people that's just here because you have money or something. Yeah, exactly. I'll, yeah. I've met some people who aren't like geniuses but like most musicians we're just making music like there's no like there's no threshold there's no you know what like status quo of being a musician i consider myself more of an entertainer than a musician so yeah i'm standing right now i'm standing next to a, a legitimate musician but no, no 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 i make fart noises that's like how i get down that's music man if it's intentional it's music you think so okay this is my question. Uh, if a fart noise is, is intentional, it's music. If it's to a beat and it's intentional. If, if it's included with the beat, I would say it was music. If Holy it was shit. just the fart, I would say it was just a fart. It's just, it's just the sound. But if it was a fart to the beat, like now that fart has become the beat. I love it. Yeah. Um, so my fiance, she, when I beatbox... It kind of has a fart tinge to it. It's a <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm not, I'm not going to. But she calls it fart boxing. It's a thing. I, you know? Freedom ain't not free. Hi, Keith Hansen Jr. It says right here, Neil's got the Zappa Weird Al vibes. I don't really do. I, I did one parody recently. So, um, yeah, play the bass. Why not? Let's get, let's get weird. 
Hell yeah. Do you want to play a song or what do you have? I haven't done this in so long, like had a human being on my <laughs> live stream. I don't even. That hmm. sounds sick. <laughs> I can't play. Okay. How I about this? How about I fart box and you play? No, just kidding. Uh, Buick, I think that's a great idea. Buick City Film said fart boxing. Ah, okay. Maybe I'll do a little fart boxing. Here. And I'll fart bass. I'm just not gonna save it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let um. You you bring the bring in the fart. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in the fart. Let's get a tempo first. Where is the? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. We're going to make this work. It's going to be the greatest fart box of all time. Let's go for like a slow fart. <laughs> <laughs> let's slow this fart down. No, let's like, let, let's, uh, that's a little too. Yeah, cool. That's a good, that's a good like fart tempo. <clears throat> Here, all right. All right, let me make the fart beat real quick. Uh, yeah, we'll start off. We'll start off with some of this. Yeah. Oh, why? Oh, yeah. Why? Oh, yeah. Why? Okay, cool. Let's get a little fart boxing in there. Yeah. 
cooking. I had someone from fucking high school tell me that my music was fucking stupid. I had someone from fucking high school tell me that I could be doing better with my life. You know what I say to them, it just was justified. And I am not country fried. And I'm here and I'm drinking kombucha with my friends. And I'm having a good time till the very end. It's like, yo, bitch. It's intentional, yo bitch, it's directional, yo bitch, it's freaking awesome dude, it's fucking farts and it's music, cause, cause they said so, yeah. You hear it y'all, farting is music, 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 you hear it Fart in this music! Fart in this music! Fart in this music! I like it. Number one hit song. Okay, that was the first nugget right there. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I forgot my sample pad. I have a sample pad. Is that Seinfeld? How old does it get when people are like, do the Seinfeld riff? You know what? Now, I don't mind. I hated it at first, but now I get such much much worse requests that if people ask for the Seinfeld intro, it's like a breath of fresh air. It's like, you know what? All right. So you're on TikTok, the app. Um, you know, it's it's a social media app where you post little video clips, right? Yes. I like it. I um, I don't like that it's a TikTok shop now. Do you notice that in your feed? I don't like that, yeah. I Everything is a shop now. Every single thing. I, I'll play like a little game from when I was little, and it's like, why don't you buy this? And I'm like, no. What oh. game? Oh, my God. Minecraft. Like every game, like Minecraft now. It's like you buy skins for your Minecraft character. I'm like, this is so sad. Like that, that, a thing that used to be, I don't know, everything is like, pay to play now it's wild because when i was uh i was a console player in the 90s but that was like when super nintendo was a thing and you couldn't like buy upgrades it just wasn't a thing yeah i mean i all of that stuff started when i was really little i was like the the last year of my generation where like i remember a time before like super what is like chronic internet using i'm 18 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh yeah! Oh, and uh, aren't weren't we? Uh, okay, your birthday's February second, right? Yeah. My birthday's February second. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah. You told That's me that. That's crazy. You know? Do you know who Remy Wolf is? My birthday is February second. That's crazy that we have the same. I think everyone whose birthday is on February second is like wild because everyone I know with that birthday is ah! like. <laughs> yeah. Like Remy Wolf's birthday is February second. Who's 2nd. that? She's like this my favorite like famous pop person? artist. Yeah. Okay. And her music is like really crazy, like the the upper extremes of pop. We should hit them up and just be like, hey, we got the same birthday, so let's Hell fucking yeah. go. C major. Yeah, shred. Fucking shred. Shred, 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 shred. Yeah, so how's everyone doing out there in Internet Land? My, uh, my brother that died was February 2nd. I'm sorry to hear about your brother, Keith Hansen Jr., and I love you very much, and I hope you're very well, and I haven't seen you in a long time. Condolences. And, and was the dude wild? Because, yeah, um, so I work at this catering company, and the dude who owns it, his name is Jeff, and his last name is Crank. Like, And what's funny is he actually was like all cranked out for a minute. He was like a really high-energy guy, and, and he did amphetamines. So he like lived up to the name Crank, <laughs> and then his... Uh, <laughs> his he had a Corvette and the license plate said crank and the number one just like crank one yeah. just fucking just fucking crank one bro and uh, I've always been jealous of people who have names that you can like make puns out of yeah like like crank yeah like crank <laughs> like he's all cranked out one well, and the slogan for the the catering company is let us crank out your next occasion <laughs> it, it's like what does that even mean like what 
What is cranking out an occasion? Does it mean we literally bring speed and we just get cranked out at the occasion? It sounds like they just like didn't try very hard. Or like it was like bad. Like they cranked it out. Like that's all they managed to get. I'm sorry about your brother, Keith. I is this crazy or what? Yeah, so... So Izzy and I met on TikTok. Oh, Keith, man, I want to give you a big hug. When I see you, I'm going to give you a hug, big sweaty hug. But first of all, let's reiterate the first point we made during this live stream, and that's... You hear it, y'all? Fodder is music. You hear it, y'all? Fodder is music. You hear it, y'all? Fodder is music. Farting is music. And I think uh, I, I would like for that to go on my tombstone. Farting is music. I need to get that vocal processor... That's crazy. What, this right here? Okay, so y'all, you know Mark Rebier, the guy that does yeah. the, the loops. He, this is pretty much his, the machine that he made famous, the RC505. And it's cool because there's just a bunch of, and just like that, the, f the farting is music song is gone. It just, I, I erased it. It went away forever. It was just, it was a fart in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so... We don't have to jam on the fart box the whole time. It's all good, brother. I'm loving this live. I'm loving you always, Keith. Uh, so here we are on the internet, and we're going to make some content. And what this live stream is is just we're connecting with the human beings on the other side of the computer, A. But B, we're going to probably cut this up into, into clips and whatnot. It's just, I don't know, I'm making content. And which we were talking about earlier, content, the idea of uh, promoting your art but like having to be a video producer as well. It's so bullshit. I have to do everything. I have to be like a whole team of 20 people, but it's just me. And then I also have to make the songs. And then I also have to perform them and promote them and, and make the video and make the cover art and, and make content and get booked at places and manage my life and also go to school full time. Yeah, so you're, a, uh, you're an artist, a writer, a producer, a uh, content creator and uh, a booking agent and a PR person and a, w a website designer. And I mean, that's just that's being an independent musician. You have to wear all those hats. I do have a PR person now, but right now it's like it's very like minimalistic. Like I still do most of the things, but like I have had a couple articles as a result of Nate, who is who's a, a real one. Shouts out to Nate. Shout out to Nate, man. Shouts out to Nate. Hey, Izzy, can you rock something while I go get my stupid sample pad? Yeah. All right. All right. Izzy's going to rock. I'll be right back. What is the deal with this stuff over here? I'm like on an airplane and it's peanuts. What is the deal with peanuts? Do you want to play one of your original songs? Okay, uh, so, so, is he, is it, do I refer to you as she or they? What did you, what did you like? She's fine. Okay, she, Okay, Izzy, she just put out an EP, correct? Yeah. And what's it called? Talk about it's it. It's called Potato World. And it is about, it is just me, like, creating little worlds, but they're songs. And just getting away from everything and making little scenarios that don't exist in real life. But I can make it a song. I like that. I have a song called Gravelton's Beach. It's about a place that doesn't exist. And, Hell uh, yeah. And that's kind of the vibe. It's uh, People are like, what is it? I don't fucking know, I, but I want to go there. <laughs> exactly. Do you want to do? Do you want to do a song off of your EP? Yeah. Okay, I'm cool. trying to remember. I'm gonna turn on the reverb on your vocals, dude. Oh my god! Wait, I remember. There's. W I was trying to remember. There's one of them that I can do like with no, 
backing track and it's not like sounding bad. But also my throat. I'm a little It's the internet. They're not these they're not going to judge Just you. spare me, please. I'm sure <laughs> it'll be sick. Listen, man, I'm on my 30B right now. <laughs> Everyone, th this is Izzy Savitas like Kitas, right? Exactly, just S like Anthony Kitas. Like Savitas like Anthony Kitas. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go. Welcome to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> There's like a, there's a bubble in my throat. longer than that but yeah that one's called celestial seasonings yo did you say slurp a fart i didn't but you know what after i released it someone said that to me i was like God i think damn. i think did i hear that i it's it's a fire and i'm trying now i'm trying now every time i do it to like over pronounce the word fire because i hear it now but I, that's, that wasn't my attention it's like Jimi hendrix excuse me while i kiss this guy yeah exactly yeah. So, okay, so, so it's, so what is the lyric? So it's, I would slurp a fire if you, if it let me be. But I didn't say that, I messed it up. But it's, I would slurp a fire if it would let me be. That's, a, that's intense imagery. Yeah. How does one slurp a fire? I was imagining, because I was, I was sober, because that, that's, you know, but um, that's the kind of person I am. I don't do any of that however i <laughs> was thinking of, i was imagining tea that's why the song is called celestial seasonings and oh. i was imagining a really hot tea like burning my mouth and i was like i would slurp a fire i would like i would drink that if it would just give me some peace for a moment i like that and it's a song about my obsession with a certain celebrity that i was in love with for like six months for no reason <laughs> do you care to say who the celebrity was <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I would tell you later, but like. I got a thing for Jason Momoa. Not really, but th it's a, that's my he's my celebrity fans. She knows. Oh, she knows. She knows. <laughs> she knows. So, uh, and uh, is Celestial Seasonings the company that makes? No, it's Traditional Medicinals makes ah. the throat coat. Are you more of a Celestial Seasonings fan than a Traditional Medicinal fan? I, you know, I ha I bought like three boxes of throat coat because I was like, yeah, I'm going to use that. And I never drank any of it. However, I did grow up drinking Celestial Seasonings, so sleepy time tea. Wait, does it have melatonin in it? 
I don't know what it has in it, but it made me go right the fuck to sleep. Yeah, it works. Melatonin, you have very intense dreams when you're on melatonin. Do you want to do Thank you. Do you want to do another song? Yeah, because that's fucking sick. Great vibrato on the vocals. I've got other songs. Yeah. I could do... I could do a new song that's like... Keith, Keith Hansen Jr. says, That was a good little song, though. For real! Her yeah. bass playing is so impressive from what I've seen on her videos. So much talent. Ooh. See? There's uh, someone, hey. in the, someone in the chat also said they follow both of us on TikTok. That's so, crazy. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, the internet brings people together. The internet. To I'll play a funkier one. But all my songs are a little bit sad. But, like, they're not sad, but they are. No, 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 no. I don't want to leave the shower I just want to hear the water drill from my body to the floor I'm the prettiest person in here I don't want to hear the people They infiltrate my silence They can't hurt me when I'm in here I'm safe in the shower My skin is starting to boil Highest temperature for so long The pain is oddly comforting Distracts from what he did to me All I did was turn down the rod It was shaking the house but he wanted more So he shoved me down onto the floor when he dies, who will I apologize for? I don't want to leave the shower I just want to hear the water drill from my body to the floor I'm the prettiest person in here I want to drown in my shower I would rather drown in my shower It'd be so much nicer I'd rather drown in my shower my shower deep cuts <laughs> is that okay have you released that one before yeah i released it like a couple years ago it's on spotify oh hey uh danimal cannon just said great groove and soul and oh thank you and danimal cannon is a great musician so that's he's a and he's a sweet sweet sweetheart so i appreciate it shouts out yeah everyone in the chat is a fan so everyone go uh on spotify and follow izzy savitas like Kitas. <laughs> it's um i should uh, yeah i'm just getting back into streaming y'all so i don't have uh i should have like your twitter handle or tiktok handle on the this screen this is and way more sophisticated than me when i'm streaming so that's cool yeah but i want to like i want a tv studio in my basement this is like i mean you're, you're not far off <laughs> this, is this is uh okay so real quick this is a numerical pad for uh, accounting and then what i do is i set the hotkeys to obs and that's how i make the cameras change so 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, what do they say? Modern modern problems require modern solutions. So Izzy and I were born on February second. I was born in the year nineteen eighty one. What year were you born? That's the year Metallica was born. No, were they? My, my mom has instilled in me so much Metallica trivia. I was born in 2005. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm old. That's a cat right there. That's the snow. So, so everyone, 1980, I'm old. So there's some old people in the chat. What up, olds? What up, olds and youngs? We're all human beings, and we're here on this planet, so we're doing it. I'm going to plug in this sample pad real quick so I can make stupid noises. Uh, uno momento. Uno all mo of my friends are either my age or in their 40s, so like. So how did you meet uh, Gabe, drummer of P-Funk? I met him through the studio I work at, 54 Sound. I was like an intern for a while, and then I became assistant engineer, and he was one of the clients there. He recorded his album, and he was kind of like, I mean, I was not good at my job. I will tell you that. I would just, like, run around, and, like, I, I can't focus Can enough. you hand me that stand real quick? Mm -hmm. the, the straight stand right there. Yeah. Keep talking. Yeah. Sorry. I, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry, I was, sorry. I was, I, I was, like, an uh, assistant engineer, which basically meant I sat there and did nothing, and I can't do that, so I would, like, run around <laughs> and leave and go play bass, and he overheard me playing bass and something, and uh, and then he checked out my Instagram, and he was, like, asking about me, and then uh, and then he was like, let's do something, like, let's record a little thing, and so I recorded on his album, I just played during this one section of his song, and, uh, and then he was like, hey, I need a bassist for this gig in New York, do you want to do it? And then, ever since then, I've just been his bassist, and it's like really it makes me happy because um like other bases in that band have been Bootsy Collins and Flea and all That's what I'm saying. And, and, you're, and you're 18 and you're playing with these caliber musicians. And 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 um they just did a gig in LA and Norwood uh from Fishbone was like the sub for me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that oh, was crazy. Oh, they did a Trulio Disgracious game. Yeah, they yeah, did yeah, Trulio. Yeah. And and my friend John, he's like my best friend. He was he was in that band. Everyone's been in Trulio. Yeah. He, you can hear Snow the cat uh, going in the background. Snow. Oh, there was another comment on here that said uh, that they remind you of Marceline from Adventure Time. Oh, shit. And I love Marceline. That's like a huge compliment. That is, because that's like the best character. In yeah, Adventure everyone Time. loves Marceline. When Marceline sings, it's over. Oh, my God. She plays bass. And she has uh, that, like, fucking axe bass. Yes. She oh, shit. And she flies around. I didn't think about she's a, that. she's a fucking vampire. And she's... She, damn. She's a fucking vampire, She's man. cool as hell. She's cool as hell. All right, hold on. I got to get this going. This is a very important, integral part. Have you heard... Uh, have you heard Toe Jam and Earl? Um... I've been told about that, and I want to play it so bad because it seems, like, very up my alley. <laughs> but I've never played it, actually. Well, the thing about Toe Jam and Earl, it's a game from the 90s. Uh, it has this, like, funky-ass soundtrack. It's like, And it's, like, a classic 16-bit soundtrack. And it had, like, a... Like, Toe Jam and Earl, these aliens, but they have, like, a hip-hop aesthetic. Like, they have... Like, one of them has a backwards hat. And they're, they're like, rappers. They, like, scratch records and shit. And, but oh, they're, shit. But so you're, you're running around space as these, like, hip-hop aliens. Oh, it's, my God. I need to play that game. You know what? I need to do that. It's wild stuff. Um, I, you probably need, like, an emulator to do it. I don't know. I'll but, figure it out. I'll... Yeah. Go on the internet. I grew up with... The Animal like Cannon will send it to you. <laughs> Tommy Kozup says, Izzy is amazing. Toe Jam and Earl is funky as hell. I've, I, a lot of my comments were like, this is like Toe Jam and Earl. And I was like, oh, shit, I need to play this game. Well, that's kind of what some of your bass lines remind me of when I hear them. It's like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> All right, let's find this stupid sample pad. When you hear this, you'll be like, wow, this is really stupid. But it's fun, you know? It's, it's fun. Let's see how loud it is. Okay, cool. All right, we're back. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. They's, them's, his and hers and human beings. I forget what was the second one called. Panic on Funkatron. Yeah. Here, let's... um. 
literally three years ago, I didn't know what P Funk is, and now P Funk is like my whole life. Like, so play some play some P Funk riffs. Oh God. <laughs> Do it. So I got a question. Because the thing with funk is it, it it's like people's lives. Like they wrap their entire identity around it. Now, do, now, do you tell when you're with these f- famous ass influential funk artists? Are you like, I didn't even know about this shit two years ago. Do you ever say that? No, I never say that. actually. <laughs> <laughs> never. <laughs> That's funny. It's just because I grew up. My parents are metalheads. So like when I was four years old, the only music I heard was like, Ooh, like that's all I heard when I was little. Like what bands? <laughs> like my dad's band that would play in the basement, and that's what it sounded like. All right, I'm, I'm gonna pull up the Toe Jam and Earl soundtrack. Let's listen to some of this. <laughs>
So yeah, that's a. So that's. Okay, a well, I'm gonna play this game when I get home. So. So that's like the whole vibe of it. I think that's the first level. That's like the first level. And I, there, how many levels are there? Danimal Cannon, how many levels are there on Toe Jam and Earl? How many? How many are there? There's, um, because it's one of those games where you are, you're trying, you're wandering around looking for pieces of a missing spaceship. And, uh, I never, when I was a little kid, I never could get past like level four or five. I just, I don't know. Toe Jam and Earl. I grew up playing, uh, Crash Bandicoot. Nitro Kart. That was my favorite game when I was four. The PS2 was like my like nostalgic console. Dude, uh, uh, Resident Evil 4 on the PS2. That it had a lot of blood and guts. I don't know if you were allowed to play that. I, I just didn't have it. I could do basically whatever I wanted. I could do whatever I wanted. As long as I had it, and that was... Not a lot of things. <laughs> right, yeah. I had Sonic. Okay, uh, Danimal says, I don't know, but I can ask. Haha, ha, I was a Nintendo kid, not a Sega kid. Yeah. Um, I would. So, shouts out to Miguel Martinez. I used to go to his house when I was a little kid, and he had a big screen TV, and he had this amazing finished basement, and we would play Toe Jam and Earl on his big screen TV, and this was in like 1992 or something. Maybe like, yeah, we were, I was young. It was a long time ago. Sick bass playing though. So do you, do you see how like people are like shouting out Toe Jam and Earl on your videos? Yeah. It's kind of a similar, sometimes a similar vibe. So how many strings is on that thing? Six. Holy shit. Here, hit the envelope filter again. Does this have a level on it? Keep playing. There you go. Yeah, cause there you go. Now hit hit it clean again. Cause there's a there's a yeah. Your clean's a little bit louder. Let's try and get an even thing here. And then I'm gonna turn you down just a butt hair. Okay, what's next on this live stream? I um yeah, it's been so this is my second live stream in eight months. But I'm back because I got laid off from my job and I don't go back to, wor to work till May. So I'm doing odd jobs and I'm live streaming. And right now we're looking, we've been streaming for 48 minutes. We're at three, four, six, five kilobytes per second. Uh, and we have dropped zero frames. Zero. <laughs> yeah, so it's a success. And oh, my God. oh shit. So, uh, do you know any Kid Rock? I don't know, is that Kid Rock? <laughs> no. So what's next on the menu? Dude. Kid Rock and I'ma let you know. Kid Rock and I'ma let you know. You know, he did a song with Insane Clown Posse in 1992. You know how many 40-year-old people I've met? Or no, do you know how many, you know many 50-year-old people I've met at like my mom's friends' parties and stuff that are like, you know... I could teach you something. I played with Kid Rock one time. Yeah. So according to them, they all do you need your lawn mode called Neil. It's seriously, I do, I do shit like that. everyone's got uh, everyone in Detroit has like an Eminem or a Kid Rock or an ICP story or a Jack White story like those. Exactly. Four. Yeah. It's um. but but it like the people that like people who are atta uh, like attached to Eminem. I'm like, OK, like, you know. We, I mean, I am in a, some way, but not him yeah. personally, his, his, his people. But, like, people who oh, are, like... Oh, so you got an Eminem story, too. No, I have no... You know, you know, it's actually, like, it's a thing. It's, like, a thing with me. Uh, like, everyone I know, know has met Eminem except me. Like, I'm the yeah. one person... I work at a studio where every person in the studio has worked with Eminem, just not me. Because that used to be the studio he tracked in. Yeah, he, yeah. Re he recorded, like, the Slim Shady stuff everything was there he probably has a studio in his house now yeah, yeah. no and he's uh, my 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 boss will be like he's he's right down the street or something and i'm like let's go meet him and they're like no <laughs> like, yeah. you'll meet him one day one day one of these days i i moved the camera down so i could see you because you were doing the 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 high notes the high notes yeah let me you were hitting them highs yeah that was sick i'm gonna clip that shit 
Hell yeah. I'm, a, I f I'm finna clip that shit. Okay, cool. So, so yeah, uh, th you know, this right here, there's really no f formula to the stream. We're just streaming away. This stream is a high note. Well, thank you for saying hey. that. This stream is a high note. Ooh. Okay, um, so Izzy, I got this song, and it's like a disco song. Yes. And, and um, okay, so it has a bass line, but I'm not gonna play you the bass line. Okay, we're gonna do an experiment here. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up the song, and you're gonna just gonna make up a bass line to it. And and if <laughs> <laughs> if the song, if your bass line is better, I'm gonna pay you four hundred million dollars. Damn. To use it. Four hundred million dollars. Four hundred million dollars. Maybe. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm just kidding. It's in A minor. Okay. That's the only thing. Oh yeah, that would be helpful. Cause this is the chorus. The chorus is. Okay. It goes like. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. So that's like. Um, now I, and I'm gonna give you one more clue. When I wrote this, I was thinking "Around the World" by Daft Punk. So essentially, in my mind, it's a a, a riff, a one, two, three, four, an eight eight count riff that just repeats over and over again. Like the whole thing is eight count. Okay. Riff, just repeats over and over again. But so I'm kind of putting you in a box now. So I shouldn't have done that. I apologize. I'm the worst. No, you're good. Yeah. So maybe we'll freestyle on this a little bit. Check it out now. 
Now I'm going to affirm everyone in the chat. If there's anyone even in the chat, I can't tell how many people are watching, but this is uh, you, the internet. 
Pizza that a million times. Yours was cool. Yours was cool because it's like booty, 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 booty. I was trying to think of like, like just like stereotypical disco like licks. Like. Yeah. Um, that's the best part about Daft Punk is, is it's like the same shit over and over again, but they modulate it and they add elements to it in a way where it's, it feels like even though it's the same basic idea, it's different. You know what I mean? I love Daft Punk. Yeah, that's just great. Um, me and my buddies in Flagman were making a Daft Punk cover album. <laughs> <laughs> that's so sick. We're not really. <laughs> it's just a stupid van joke. Disco octaves all day. <laughs> Bass pro shop poster. Oh, yeah, it's it's not it's not a Bass pro shop. <laughs> if you look at the if you look at the poster closely, it it's not a Bass pro shop poster, but. Yeah. Stop. Stop. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know. Like, this has been a lot of fun. I, there's a part of me that was like, like we're gonna meet and we're gonna write a song immediately. But, I, um, because I want to do this thing w with my project where I collaborate with as many artists as possible. Like I did a song with Brett Crow. I did a song with the Flagman people, and uh, I want I want to like. You know how hip hop artists they have like features and, yes. the, and the, so have you and do you know Hundred Gex? Uh, no. Okay, Hundred Gex. It's it's like a lot of the new artists when you go to their Spotify, like every single song has like four names on it. Yeah. You know, four different artists. Yeah. And I want like I want to do that with my because it's the first time I haven't been in a band, a solid band that has like three solid members in it in twenty years. Right. Like the whole time you've been alive. I was in that stupid fucking band, which I, you know, I love that band, but also, also a part of me now that I'm kind of like a solo act, I just want to like, I want every song I put out to have like a different artist on it. And so one day it, it, my whole Spotify is just going to be blah, 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 blah. I would totally do that. We should someday. I think this is cool just because it's like. You oh, a hundred gex. Yeah, hundred gex. I know who that is. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you said hunter gex. No, I, I, like, I speak funny sometimes. I was like, I don't know, hunter gex. Yeah, but hundred gex is that duo. But the thing is, when you go on their Spotify, it says a hundred gex, and then it has each of their other yeah. artist name on it. It's just two people, but there's three artists listed on every single song. So when you go to Laura Less's Spotify, you'll see that every hundred hundred gex song is listed. I have this new obsession with this Puerto Rican uh, producer named Tiny, and he just put out this album called Data, and it's amazing. You guys should listen to it. And every song is like three different rappers on it because he's a producer, but yeah. he doesn't do the vocals. Like he's doing the beats, um, and then he just has like a 
amazing rappers on it and like young miko's on it and i'm obsessed with young miko right now i fucking like love young miko who's this puerto rican rapper yeah she's everywhere i I see yeah they go hard i saw her on tiktok it was crazy i got like i was at berkeley and i'm in this latino like club thing and they were giving out free tickets to go see carol g and i had never even heard carol g get close to the mic I had never even heard Carol G, um, and I got tickets to go see her at this stadium in Boston, like the football stadium, and I had also never been to a big concert, and so I was there, and it was like the most amazing experience, and I saw Young Miko on TikTok that day, and then I got to the concert, and she was the opener, and I was like, oh my god, I like just saw her on TikTok, and I was like, man, she looks so cool, and then she was the opener, and I was literally... And there weren't a lot of people there yet. So, like, she, like, directly made eye contact with me at one point, And I was just standing there, like, like mouth open the whole time. Just, like, who is this? Like, so and now I'm obsessed with reggaeton. <laughs> so, it's wild because you're saying that when you weren't exposed to a lot of culture growing up. No, but I was just, like, in my room. But now you're, like, immersed in all these different cultures through music. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, like. All my favorite stuff, stuff that's like in my blood, but I just didn't know about it. And now I'm like in the middle of all of it. That's fucking dope. Like growing up 20 minutes from Motown studios and like never hearing Motown music. Like like not once. You didn't hear Stevie Wonder when you were growing I up. I heard. No, like I, I heard St- the first time I heard Stevie Wonder was in middle school. Okay. And, and that blew my mind. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up. Uh. I grew up when, like, Michael Jackson was huge in, like, the 80s because I'm old. I knew Michael Jackson when I was little, but, like, yeah. that was pretty much it. But my mom, uh, it was, like, Temptations, Michael Jackson, and, and a lot of uh, vinyl records and stuff. And then uh, MTV blew up in, like, 84. So I was, like, in front of the television as all that shit was happening. Oh, that's so cool. So it's weird. It, it, it was, uh, you know, my sister was into, like, Bon Jovi and... Uh, Madonna stuff. I was like always obsessed with pop culture, um, wh- you know, not just like one side of it. Like I, we used to watch Entertainment Tonight. It was a television show that was on at seven thirty before network television every day, and it was it was these two reporters, and they'd be like, "And this is what the famous people are doing," and it was like uh, Robert De Niro, Jack Nicholson, and and they would just talk about famous people. And I I was also obsessed with pop culture. I was like when I was little, it was like MTV was it was like the the end of N- MTV. Like it was all reality shit by then. Huh? Yeah, it was. But there was some there was some MTV. Like I would see music videos, especially on the like Disney Channel. Yeah. Yeah, there's a I mean, because there's a pipeline from Disney Channel kids to like pop artists. Yeah. You know? And, and and I witnessed that, like all of the 2010s, like Disney, ch- like, like I saw when All About That Bass was like a random music video on Disney Channel and then it like blew up. Oh, that started on Disney Channel? I don't know where it started, but I just remember seeing it and then hearing about it. Like I would just be on, on my grandma's, like I, I would be at my grandma's house and she had a TV and it was like this big and it was really far away. So I would just squint at it and just watch like reruns of 90s shows. So I basically grew up with all the 90s shows, but it was reruns. Like which ones? Like, like, uh, like, uh. Saved by the Bell? Uh, y- yes, but I, that one That's was. That's like all, early 90s. But that one was on when I was like, I would wake up and it'd be ending. But I would watch, oh my God, I don't remember, like Zoe 101, like all the really early Nickelodeon stuff uh, and the like, like late 90s, early 2000s stuff. I'm a Brandon Stimpy guy. I'm a '90s kid. I I, I heard I watched all the shows, but I didn't. I was like afraid of like Cat Dog and Ren and Stimpy and stuff. I could not handle it. It's weird stuff. Uh, well, you f- you find out that the guy who created it was kind of a like a weirdo creep. Yeah. So it kind of gives it a different sheen, but it's really a great cartoon. Very uh, subversive. Very weird. And like uh, Chowder and all that stuff. I don't know what that is. Chowder. Oh my God, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> and uh oh who was courage the cowardly dog i didn't really see that yeah i think i've stopped watching cartoons you know like the f- like when adult swim started like 2000 ish is when i kind of stopped watching as much tv i remember not being allowed to watch <laughs> adult swim <laughs> like robot chicken would be on that's a fun show in mad tv mad tv 
I don't know. My brain is farting. Like, what do what do we do? Do you want? We've been doing it for an hour. I, I think we. I think between Toe Jam and Earl and that one song and the, and the fart song and like some interview stuff, I, we probably got like a good amount of, of stuff. I can make it into an episode, maybe. Okay. I don't know. I've I've never done this before, so I don't know I'm what I want to do as a creative anymore because because this is the thing when I first got on TikToks like my first videos that really hit was me just talking about uh, stories of hanging out with famous people. Yeah. My, but like like this like this famous person stole a dollar from me and I would tell the story like stupid story times. But there's a part of me that I don't care about that shit. Like I don't want to just be like. Uh, uh, one time, Wesley Willis, who, who's this guy that died in the 2000s, headbutted me and said this. It's like, I, I don't know. It, the only reason people were clicking on it and watching it is because it had to do with someone that wasn't me. Yeah. And, and so it's like there's a part of me that wants to make stuff that's more that's less like trying to flex clout bullshit. Yeah. And just be like, hey, I'm a weirdo. And this is my song. It goes like, but. But it's like what you were saying. Um, you'll post a, a stupid meme, and like it'll get a fuckload of views. But when a lot of times when you're posting this music, that's your own story, and you're you're talking about your own life, and you're pouring your heart and soul into it, and then it just it performs way less. Yeah. yeah. Because pe I mean, I I think part of it is my fault. Like I need to find a way to make videos that are visually engaging. Because I literally just set my phone up in bad lighting. And, like, record me singing a song. And I'm like, like, I know this isn't going to do well. But my best videos have been, like, random recorded videos with, like, not good lighting and stuff like that. So I have no clue. Like, I, I, I want to do the videos like Ro Capara does where, like, it's, like, po someone's shooting it. And it's, like, 0.5. And it's, like, right here. And he's singing the song. And it looks really, like, weird. I want to make... I'm s I'm obsessed with, like, 0.5 videos. Like, I want someone to... The wide angle? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I want to do those, and I'm waiting till I go back to Berkeley so my friend can shoot them for me. Well, if you have that iPhone 15, just fucking be like, put it on five and start recording and hand it to somebody. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I just got a little, <laughs> I got a tripod, but I got it from Dave and Buster's last night. And so now I'm going to. Um, and get some, get a little video editing program. Uh, well, there, and there's, the thing is about these iPhones, it's crazy. There's shit on the iPhones. Uh, Adobe has an uh, iPhone smartphone editing program. It's like a version of Premiere, but it's like for the phone. Okay. It's called That's sick. I think it's called Premiere Express. Okay. Yeah, but if you get an uh, Adobe subscription, it's like twenty. It's I think it's like forty bucks a month. You can get the whole suite, and it, it, there's just there's no limit to what you can do um, with some ingenuity. And I'm, dude, check this out. Like this is a shitty GoPro. This is an actual sort of good camera, and this right here is the same camera, but this is just like two angles from the same camera. So this is a two-camera setup. This is just two cameras. You can do anything if you, uh, I don't know, right? Yeah. I need to just make my, <laughs> I need to just make myself like learn cinematography at some point, like enough to where I can like understand how to do this, because that I also uh, that's that's got to be another thing I do is. Making the videos. Because the thing is, because you're a sick instrumentalist and vocalist. And thanks. And I don't know. Like, and that's the question is, is that enough? Or do we live in a world where you have to have, you have to be talented. You have to have a, a team. You have to have sick videography and you have to have like, you know what I mean? There's like so many aspects of this shit. If you're a, a creative, if you want to be noticed, like like there's no rule book or yeah. th there's no instruction manual. It's just like you have to do everything and good luck. Yeah, I yeah. think I think what helps is like I think it's the fact that y someone has to do everything. And maybe you have like I have a small team that helps with like big like business things but um i have to do the other stuff and some people a lot of people have to do all the stuff and some people and these are the people who usually end up making it are like they have a lot of stuff behind them a lot of money and like a team and and you know i think i it, need that money 
it, it can be, you know, you, you can get successful with anything, but like the more you have helping you, because think about it, like if you don't have the time, if you're working like a nine to five or something, you don't have the time to like pursue music full time unless you don't sleep or eat. And some people do that, but most people can't. What's wild is uh, you, you see these stories on television and stuff where they're like, yeah, and, and when they, they work their nine to five and then they like grind it all night in the studio. And it's like, dude, when I get off work like yesterday, I lifted dirt for fucking like six hours, you know, and that that's how I'm paying my mortgage this month. Uh, and when I got back here, I wasn't like, yeah, I'm going to fucking spend seven hours in the studio. You, it drains you. Yeah. Like, like being at school all day probably drains you. Yeah, because it's well, you know, being or does it being at Berkeley does not drain me. Okay. However, being at in high school drained me. And so okay. I imagine being in like normal college would drain you. Berkeley drains a lot of people, but I like I'm like crazy and I just need to be productive all the time. So Berkeley's just feeding that. It's just making me do shit. And then that shit inspires other shit. And, and it works well. And it, last semester did not work well because I was living in a weird situation and I didn't have anywhere to record. And so I was just stressed out all the time and I never slept and I would sleep in the practice rooms. But this semester I have a single room and I can just like chill in there and like actually record things. So I'm happy. So that's going to be the lab. It's going to be the lab. And I'm going to make real content. That's you're already, you're already making real content. You got what 10k on TikTok. You got a bunch of Instagram people. You, you're you. I'm trying. You're in a band with Gabe from P Funk. Like you're doing all right. I am trying to get to that next level. I want to be like like Thundercat. Yeah, someone said in the in the uh, the chat that Thundercat vibes. Oh shit! Yeah, I mean I love Thundercat. Yeah, I saw him at Electric Forest. I was working Electric Forest. Oh, I wanted to go to that. I got to see uh, too many zoos. Oh my God! Do you know what too many zoos? Yeah. That that Leo the sax guy. Leo P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw them and I saw Thundercat. Um, and then I didn't. I don't know. It's a lot of EDM. It's I I used to hate EDM, but now I'm like getting like deep into it. Like I'm 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 like, I found this artist called Igloo Go Igloo Ghost who makes he makes like the videos and the songs and they're both like insane quality it's like animation and shit and he does it all himself oh wow so he okay he makes the video that goes along with the music yeah it's super cool like if you even look up images it, of it it's like sick what's and the artist igloo ghost igloo ghost check it out do you want to do one more of your songs before we cut it because i'm turn i'm a, i tur like i had a long day i'm turning into a pumpkin oh okay. i had to uh I had to, uh, uh, yeah, my mother is 75 years old. I, I had to put out a small fire. Mm. She, she has crises. They're not like big, cr you know, she's sensitive. Yeah. I had to go and I had to bring her a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> it was imperative. You had to bring her. Yeah. You're turning into a pumpkin. That should, that, that's like great. That's a sign. Oh, uh, how so? Because you want to be a smashing pumpkin. No, I just uh, – everyone was in my DM saying I should audition. So, okay, th this is this is my story about auditioning for stuff. Uh, every – so I would date girls, and their dads would sit me down. They'd be like, you know, you want to be a famous musician. You should audition for The Voice. So I did just because I it, the next time anyone told me that shit, I could be like, I didn't get past the first round because I didn't. I went, and I was like, hey. And, and uh, I didn't get past the first round. And uh, now, if anyone says that shit, I'm like, I've tried it. So if any, so now people don't have to tell me anymore that I should do the thing because I already did it. I totally get what you mean because that's yeah. what I did with Donna Lee. So many people were in my TikTok comments, play Donna Lee, play Donna Lee. And I would say no because I couldn't. But then I learned it. So now I can say no just because you I don't want it. to. Yeah. Wait, wait. So did you do it? I did learn it, but I now I I mean I play it just because it's fun. But like, I people ask me to play it, and I'm like, no. What is it? Yeah, play it. Now you have to play it. That's 
that's Donna Lee. Yeah, so everyone who's commenting that shit, shut Never up. Never ask again. I'm shut actually, up. I sat there for hours <laughs> trying to figure it out because the transcriptions are never right. It's like the same as like guitar tabs. Is that the piece? Is that the whole piece? It's it's just a jazz standard, but okay. that Jocko Pastorius played it. I love Nowhere, actually. I love Nowhere. Um and I love mono neon, but thank yeah, you. That's that's you know what? That's you made me happy because whenever people say, "Does do you like?" It's always something like, "It's like, do you like Tal Wilkenfeld?" I'm like, yeah. Well, uh, what's the dude's name from Nowhere? The drummer, uh, Lewis Cole. Yeah, he plays with the sickest musicians. It's, he it's no, disgusting. like Nowhere is super yeah. sick. Do you know Clowncore? You know his side project. I just found out. Okay, so I thought Clowncore was the same thing as Insane Clown Posse, <laughs> <laughs> and That's and so I no, didn't they're, like they're, it. They're they're slightly more talented than ICP. <laughs> and I, I I I still haven't listened to them, but I think I would like it. It's Lewis Cole and Sam Gendel. Yeah. And uh and w- the the funniest part is their first two songs they released online they recorded live in a porta potty, and it's just. And they shred. Yeah. Th- yeah, because Lewis Cole's like one of the most amazing drummers, and he's playing keys and drums at the same time. And then Sam Gendel is like going ape on the, the saxophone. So it's like it has electronic elements, but like this, just Lewis Cole's just such a fucking sick drummer. And then, I love his stuff yeah. in Butts, Tits, Money. That's yeah. a great and it, song. Yeah, it has a sense of humor, too. And, and then uh, they're associated with that Thumposaurus band, too. I don't know. Do you, have you heard any Thumposaurus stuff? Yeah, I like yeah. Thumposaurus, it's, too. It's goofy. It's like more like talking heads. Yeah. But it has really nasty bass lines, too. Yeah, there's a whole mo- there's a movement going on. I'm loving the the new like psychedelic pop movement. Like all my favorite music is like psychedelic pop, and now I'm getting into Latin trap, which is a whole world. I'm obsessed with it. But yeah. What do you say to old heads that say that there's no good music anymore? Because like you were lit- you were literally like on the cutting edge and of age to be witnessing all of this new ground being broken. And then there's people like my age, like 42 are like, Oh God, I remember when music was good. Mm-hmm. Like, w- what do you say to that? I would say there's a lot more dance music. There's a lot of, a lot of the popular music is dance music. It's not made to be like emotional and deep, but there is still very emotional and deep music. If you go listen to boy genius or something, I, I don't even listen to boy genius, but I know that they're all geniuses. They're boy geniuses. Yeah, not o- not only are they geniuses, but they're boy geniuses. Yeah, that's Phoebe Bridgers like super group or something. Yeah, okay. It's a super group of like sad indie musicians, and I think that's so funny. And I was telling my friend the other day, I was like, I, I was like, uh, I was sober, you know, and very alert, and I was like, dude, <laughs> <laughs> I'm always sober and very alert. I was like, I was like, dude. What if I made Boy Genius, but it was me, Remy Wolf, and Madison Cunningham, and it was like the funk Boy Genius, and I was just thinking about that all night. That's my new my new plan. Yeah, what would my super group be? I like that. Yeah, I, I got to think about it on that one. I like ICP, though. You got to check out Remy Wolf. I feel like you would like her because it's like funk, it described as like funky soul pop, but it's like she's just so like fucking over the top all the time yeah and it's just like i feel like you would vibe with that's, it that's it my favorite my favorite shit is is stuff that goes like way over the top like uh i don't know iron maiden like yeah do you know iron maiden yeah it's ridiculous it's like opera Riding. yeah it's like just his vocals are. it's like it's a guy singing opera this oh. is like less over the top in the way that it's still like commercially right but it's you know it's not like one of her songs is like R and B, but then she says, "I would piss on this." Wait, I don't remember the lyric, but she's like, "I would piss outside for you on Hollywood Boulevard," and that's how the song starts. She I I peed on Sunset Boulevard once, so. Oh shit. Yeah, may, there's a connection right there. Maybe. Now I gotta pee on like. Did you say that they're born on the February second too? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Wow, dude. <laughs> February second. And she's also just like, I feel like February 2nd people are just, they got to be the best people. Okay, do you guys reply to chat? If so, I have someone to recommend listening to. I played Viper Room. Hey, I played the Viper Room too. Uh, 
Okay, cool. It's just super like. You know what else I like about now? Um, cause, cause so back in the day, uh, like when I first started my band, it was like early two thousands, right? And by the time twenty ten hit, it, like every the, the aesthetic was everything had to be like high gloss, high quality, yeah. like HD. I love that now people are like they're doing old VHS shit. Yeah. And, and like they're making shit sound grimy and terrible like on purpose. Like it's an aesthetic choice now to do stuff and have it sound kind of bad, <laughs> but still good, but bad. And and that's why like with the project that I'm doing right now, I a lot of the, the tracks that I put on Spotify are straight up. They're just rips of these live streams. And so they're rough around the edges. A lot of the lyrics I make up on the spot it's dumb um but it has like i don't want to say it has heart but it, it has it's like got that star quality no 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 <laughs> it, do, it doesn't it's like yeah it's rough around the edges it's kind of shitty but it has character that's yeah, what i want to say it has character because it's me in my element it's me like when i'm most myself and the thing is is when i would hear recordings of my band and i was like super fucking polished and i did a million takes there was something like missing it was something like statically wrong with the recording i would listen to it and be like it just it and then we'd put out this live record in 2015 and when i listened to it i was like dude that's us because we were like hooting and hollering and the, the guitar solos were like way wanky and sloppy and it like the drums were still pretty fucking tight but there was just like this energy to it yeah and uh i like that it seems like there's more of a an acceptance of like grimy raw shit as a op as opposed to go in the studio and you got to spend twenty thousand dollars on this record that you're gonna make no money off of because stream it's hard to make money with streaming. I like stuff. I like stuff that's produced really well, but like I don't care about mistakes in playing. Okay. That's the thing is like I used to not understand that. I used to yeah. think I had to play everything perfectly all the time. I can't miss a note. But I was f like I didn't realize that I was missing up. I was messing up my feel because I was so concerned with like playing the right notes. Right. And so now I'm just more concerned with, like, is it grooving? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean. So it's more, it, it's more about the vibe than being perfect. Yeah. yeah. But but the vibe does have to be amazing. Like, right, like yeah. the vibe is what, what it's got to be focused right. on. Yeah. And, yeah, a lot of times it's weird because I'll listen to a live recording of something that I'm doing and just the vibe is there because I'm, like, I'm feeling it. Like, And I, I feel like having an audience – enhances that as well yeah. there's something about being in front of people where everything just like fires for me at least like having people to bounce it off of this is much better than my tiktok live stream because when i live stream on tiktok my comments are just like you should play primus and then they're like and then i'll sing and they'll be like stop singing and i'm like leave leave my live stream people dog you on your on your lives yes yeah i haven't streamed on tiktok yet i i, I just I, yeah, I stream on everything else. They're nice until you, like, don't accept their weird compliments, and then they get mean. They'll be like, wow, you're really good for a girl. And I'm like, uh, shut up. And then they're like, stop singing. <laughs> that shit's annoying. Uh, I, I, so I saw this Rick Rubin. You know Rick Rubin, the, yeah. old, the old guy that produced all those amazing bands? Yeah. Yeah. I saw this uh, interview recently. He, he was saying that art um should be not about the listener i just saw that yeah it should be about the person creating it and it's like a diary entry and he said if you're if you're making a piece of art you're doing it for you you're writing in your diary and all that matters is are you being true in your expression in that moment and i'm just paraphrasing yeah, it. yeah. But, but something about that really resonated with me because it's like yeah that's it it shouldn't be about anybody but but you unless you're your goal is how can I make as many people happy as possible? Yeah. Um, and I feel like music now is weirder than it's ever been. And, and people, and there's like less genre constrictions. Everything is like this big mishmash of sounds. And I, I think music is in a good place actually. Yeah. I think it's coming back. Like I'm <laughs> music's coming back. It is like, I mean, the songs that are really popular now, like Kill Bill has like fucking like billions of streams and Kill Bill is a great song like by SZA. And it's got a great I mean, it's a basic chord progression technically, but it's definitely more complex than what is it? Can you play it? Oh, it's like um, it's just like. Dun, 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 dun. It's like. I 
like, yeah. And, and it's got like, it's. And the bass line is like all over the place. And it's like actually really good and really. And the lyrics are awesome. The melodies are sick. And. I need a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 Oh, I know that song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then it's. Wait, wait, wait. Is it the one that was like all of it? Yeah. Yeah. But that's like popular now. And, you know, I think that's better than 10 years ago. Yeah. Is that the one? Yeah. Oh, that's SZA. Okay. See, I just hear things on the internet. I don't know what the fuck they are. Yeah. Oh, cool. So. Oh, what? Are, it, isn't it like a diss track kind of? Yeah, it, well, it's less of a diss track and it's more, it's just like, it's like a very personal, like, it's like, she's talking about, like, she's like, uh, I'm so mature, I'm so mature, got me a therapist to tell me that I don't need other men, oh, shit, got me a therapist to tell me that there's other men, I don't want none, I just want you. Like, it's like, it's like really like, more personal than you would hear in pop songs right. like she's talking about her therapist in this song and it's got billions of plays and i just think that's really cool like music's in a good place right now yeah i mean my like so the clip that i put on tiktok that the most people saw is like got five hundred thousand views or whatever is me talking about being on lexa pro yeah. <laughs> and, but what's cool about it is like everyone in the comments is like same like yeah, yeah. i i understand what this guy is talking about and i think it's a cool time because it doesn't seem like people are posturing as much as like having their shit together. I think it's it's safer just to to be like I don't know what the fuck's going on and everything's fucked up and uh, this is how I feel about it. And when before, I don't know. I, maybe was that always there? I well, a lot of the time there was like a record label and that that was the medium through which artists would like talk to their audience. It wasn't so direct. Now you can literally just talk to your audience like, hey guys just you know mm. it used to be like just meet and greets and stuff like what's, you couldn't what's wild is when you write a song about being on lexapro and then you meet people at the shows and they're like yo i'm on lexapro too and then i'm like i'm not on lexapro anymore and uh, you almost feel like you're letting them down because, yeah because you're not part of their club anymore but but i always tell people in the comments when they have when we have mental illness uh and mental health conversations i said i'm not on it now but i might be again <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Who knows with me, too, because I was in therapy, but then I moved to Boston, and apparently you can't, like, like therapists that are licensed in Michigan are only licensed in Michigan, and you can't see them if you move away, which doesn't really make sense to me, but, like, I'm just, I'm living life on the edge now. But, <laughs> but wouldn't you be able to, oh, hey, Jeff Game Guy 1 is back. It's like, oh, shit. What's I'm back. up? But, uh... Couldn't you just do fucking Zoom? Like, why does you being... In I know, like, why does it matter? But it's like an insurance thing or yeah, something. It's, it's It sounds like uh, bureau, bureaucratic rules. I'm not about rules, man. I'm like... Fuck all you hoes! <laughs> shit. Holy shit! All right, hey. Uh, I don't know. I pr oh, I need some calories, too. <laughs> this was cool. When do you go back to school? I go back on Monday. Oh, shit. But then we have a week of nothing because the dorms open and then there's a week and then classes start. And I think I think everyone else thinks that that's a horrible decision. But I love it because I want to go back and do nothing for a week. That sounds great to me. Just get adjusted. Go back and uh, and do point five like crazy video. Exactly. Content. You can go back and be like, did I just write the song of the summer? <laughs> Did I just write the song of the Boston winter? Yeah. <laughs> that, that would actually be funny if you were, like, clowning on it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. You should do that. Like, clown, like, I don't Did know. Did I just write the song of the winter? Did I just write the song of the, the what, what do they call it? The global vortex? Or what do they call it? The winter? They, they, every year they make up a new name for when it gets cold. Oh, they're yeah. Like, they're like the swirling vortex of death. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's an exaggeration. But what is it? Like, what is it this year? Oh, Did I just write the song of the apocalypse? The frost, the frostbite <laughs> freezer incident world <laughs> winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You wrote the soundtrack to that. Did I just write the song of the Winter Wonderland? And then it's like my most pr- like disturbing song. Do you want to do one more before we cut this shit? I can do... Okay, well, no, there's no guarantees with this one because I'm still learning how to play it because I write songs that I don't know how to play. But this one is new, and it's called Freezer. All right, real quick, um, before we go, everyone peep Izzy. Savitas like Kitas. Yeah. Uh, on TikTok, where where your shit's on, and it's just under your name. It's on Spotify, TikTok, and yeah, what else? I've got the on um, Instagram. It's on. It's on. My music is on all the platforms. Whatever you use. Yeah. So if you're in the chat, also I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut up this vod and I'm going to make a, a a more concise version of this. Cool. Cool. So yeah. So oh, and you know what I can do is I could take the vod, and I can put like. Not hyperlinks, but I could actually put graphics on it. Like oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah I'm a hyperlinks. This mi- this might be my new format. Like, there's a part of me that I think would be way cooler, uh, instead of being like, we're just having a conversation for an hour and a half. Like, involve music in it. Like, I think that's cool. Like the fact that you played songs, we jammed a little bit, and we had a conversation. I think like if I were to cut it all down into something like more bite size, it could be sick. Or maybe I'll never do this again. And we could just upload it on, <laughs> just upload it on like TikTok little clips. Well, I'll send you stuff. That would be sick. Yeah, and if and you know, Izzy and Sump. Yes, Lord of Fafis. Do you know Izzy? Yo, let's go. Let's go. Someone knows you in the chat. The you're Lord f- of Fafis. You're fucking famous, dude. I'm famous only on Primus TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I have like actual, like you're the third person I've met through Primus TikTok. I don't know if it's Primus Talk, but it's like goofy. Brett Crow. It, yeah, <laughs> br- well, Brett Crow and then Sam. Uh, someone said from TikTok. Yeah. Yes. Do you like yes. Primus? Because hey, do you I like, bet. Hey, do you like Seinfeld bass lines? <laughs> 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 um, oh, yeah. So, okay. So what was I saying? This is like the sign off. Oh yeah, I was this is Edie, Izzy, <laughs> Izzy, <laughs> Savitas, like Kitas, and our birthdays are collectively February second. <laughs> we were born on the same day, many years apart, and and it's a fucking Christmas miracle. So it really is. What's this song? I'm gonna give you more uh, reverb on your vocal. Hell yeah, I love just like I I want to be like drowning at everything like. You want more? Here you go. It's up to you. This song <laughs> 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 or maybe I shouldn't leave it. <laughs> this song is called Freezer, and it's new. And I'm not, I haven't mastered it yet, but. Wow. 
walking my heart in bandages shambling forward catching on cactuses yeah i don't know man please don't ask me i don't know the answers i don't know anything push down down my shoulders and lift me gently up into the sky i can't bear the grounding the second i stop i'll notice i've lost my people all the people i don't trust them they're staring at me i don't know what to do i've lost my mind but don't look in the freezer thought it was a cake but it was just a dead doggy yeah yeah it's fucked up yeah it's fucked up yeah yeah Yes. <laughs> That's freezer. It's easier to play with a band. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, well, I mean, look, absolute talent, according to Jeff Game Guy One. Thank you, Jeff Game Guy One. Jeff Game Guy One. Shout out to Jeff Game Guy One. With the compliment. <laughs> it's nice when people say nice stuff. Yes. You know what I learned in therapy, though, is is uh, you got to tell yourself nice things. And I, you know how long it took me to learn that? Like 30 years. Because I always relied on other people to do it for me. Like if an audience was like, you're funny, you're good. I was like, oh, I'm good. If, you know, someone, yeah. someone I was dating was like, you're good. I like you. I was like, oh, I'm good. But as soon as that wasn't there, it wasn't there. I tell myself nice things sometimes, but I don't want to, like, give myself an ego. So I, like, I like sometimes I have to, like, tone myself down. I'm like, okay, calm. Well, I, but I'm not saying, like, you look in the mirror, you're like, you're the best. You're the most attractive. <laughs> you're, you're, you are fucking killing it. I'm just talking, like, like, you're doing everything you can. You're trying really hard. You're a decent person. And you can, you can do it. You know, just, like, 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 little cheerleader shit. Not, like fucking uh what's the word the people that are obsessed with themselves that think they're great like Narcissi like, yeah not yeah. like narcissistic fucking high-fiving yeah in the mirror but i'm talking i'm just talking like i love you i hope you have a good day yeah you know never did that for 30 something years and, and now I, I do it i try to do it more you know that's good yeah i think we all should do it. i think everyone in the chat tell, tell yourself, yourself Tell yourself that was cool. <laughs> it's, we have the same birthday. Hide mine. Tell yourself. Tell yourself that you're doing good. Here, um, let me let me find something in the bank. Well, let's just jam on something. Uh, Sick. Okay, so like, I, oh, I got this like EDM thing. Uh, I gotta find it. I have all these songs saved me. No, that's not it. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I am not, I am not, I am not, I am not your dad. I am not your dad. Yeah. You're not the best, you're not the greatest, you're not better than other humans, but you're doing okay, you're trying hard, you're paying your bills, you're a decent person, so keep fucking going, I believe in you, tell that shit to your fucking self, but don't need me for that positive reinforcement, because I, I'm not your dad, alright? 
okay? I'm not your dad. That's I am not your dad. 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 So for the longest time, I was like, oh, man, uh, all music needs to be made by a drummer, a bass player, and a guitar player. And, and, and then it's funny, when the pandemic happened, I just started making shit like this. Yeah. Like, because how you, you can't play with a band when you can't go anywhere or do anything with people. Yeah. Unless you're like one of the, I don't know, some people just did it anyway. But my uh, my fiance, my then girlfriend, she's like, you're not going anywhere and you're not hanging out with anyone and we're going to stay in this apartment for a year. And then so I spent a year just going like. You just became the eighties. What? You became the eighties. I became the stupidest. I, yeah, I don't know if it. I don't know. Is, it, is, is that the eighties? I don't know what I became. I don't know. I just mean the the, the sound specifically is like. Oh yeah. Really like, but like I don't know. I, I mean, love that shit though. I think I'm like the exact opposite of you because the way you were that one year is the way I was my entire life until the pandemic. I started leaving and I started going to jazz clubs. Oh wow. Literally my whole life, I just that was me like do 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 like it's like making little beats. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, it says being a comedian is great. My friend goes on tour solo and does whatever he wants. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah I, I drive around and I play shows uh, just with me and this little machine and, and a guitar. I play guitar, but I didn't today because, um, I don't know. I'd, I'd rather just have you shred the bass. Hey. <laughs> But that's crazy. Yeah, you live your whole life in a room, and I live my whole life running around outside and, and doing stuff, and then I got put in the room, and I didn't know what to do with myself. But but I did make, like, hu- like 150 songs. Um, that's sick. I want to, like, learn how to actually use one of those things. Look at that cat. Look at that orange cat. Oh, she my God. Isn't She's just an office worker. She weighs 15 pounds. Is that a lot? It's she's very heavy, yes. I don't know. So I think we're. I think I'm gonna cut this up. I think we should. Should we end? We should end. All right. I'm running out of gas, dude. <laughs> Me too. All right, cool. All right. Hey everyone. Uh, being a comedian is great, and I do have a friend that goes on tour solo and does whatever he wants, and his name is Neil, and his birthday's on February second. Hell yeah. And his birthday's on February second. And, and Izzy Savitas, like Kitas, her birthday's on February 2nd, too. We really have to reinforce that. Like, they, the fans have to know. Yeah, well, I got to just, I'll put a, a Red Hot Chili Peppers sample on this. And every time I hear your name, I'll just go, uh, California, California, <laughs> Cali, 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 California. Right? I think that's the sample that I want. To go to the grave with me. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> as they're lowering the <laughs> casket. California, California, <laughs> California. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Although, uh, so don't stop the song that you're referencing. Doesn't say California in it. So. Well, it will now. It goes. I don't know what it says. Uh, not gonna lie. Kid rocking, I'ma let you know. Yeah, kid rocking, I'ma let you know. Wrong, wrong, wrong rapper. I will, I, I will say, I am, I'm a Chili Peppers fan. 
Uh, even the later stuff. I'm not a Chili Peppers fan, but I do like the Chili Peppers. Like, yeah. they're one of those bands where, like, if you are like, let's listen to Chili Peppers, I'm like, all right, shoot. It's like a warm, like, I grew up on this stuff. I it, did too, yeah. So it's like a, it's kind of like a warm blanket for me. Uh, the album, by the way, is really, that's like their, like, really pretty, like, kind of poppy one. I didn't grow up knowing about albums. I just knew yeah. about songs. So, like, I knew a lot of songs by them, but I don't know what albums they're So, on. you know, Yeah. <laughs> but I know they're, like, older stuff, too. But, like, it was just, like, like, I grew up, like, I didn't know the difference between artists. I just, like, my mom would put on music, and I thought it was all, like, the same people. <laughs> You're like, Mom, play that California band. Um, So, yeah. So, Drail Fee says, Izzy Savitas. Spelled it correctly, yes. You spelled it correctly, that is like perfect. he does. One Hot Minute is pretty sick, too. I, um, yeah, my favorite is, by the way, it reminds me of my friend John Yablansky and how we used to drive around the country and he would make puns in my van for 10 hours a day. I listened to Blood Sugar Sex Magic at like 7 a.m. driving to school and I thought that was, I liked it. Yeah, I, you know, the thing about Anthony Kiedis is, it, it, like, his, there's like a comical element to some of his rhymes when you gr when you grow up and you have like different sensibilities and like I love it. He yeah. <laughs> there's a song <laughs> where he goes he says big creamy beaver hotter than a fever. <laughs> it's like so <laughs> dumb. <laughs> I don't know, but it's like to me it's hilarious. You but know Big Beaver Road on 696? Um isn't it 16 Mile? It's it is, but there's like a place there was like my mom would joke about that. Oh, it, wait, it connects to yeah. 696. Uh, yeah. It's exit 69, Big Beaver Road. And, yeah, they made t-shirts out of that. Exit 69, Big They're Beaver like, Road. They're like, exit 69, bro. We're going to make t-shirts out of that. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to end the stream. Thanks to everyone for chatting and saying nice things. This has been Neil and Izzy Savitas. Rhymes with Kitas. Savitas. So I got it. I think about it with instead of like an IS instead of, of an ES. Yeah, it's like people, like people ask me how it's pronounced, and I'm like, just the simplest way. Like people always try to add some sort of pizzazz on there. They're like, I was gonna say Savitas, Savitas. Yeah. People add some kind of like accent. They're like Savitas or like yeah, Savaz. It's like know. it's like when you go to Mexico, and they're like, I would like one uh, quesadilla. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Cool to see you both jam. Um, hey, Lord Afafis. YouTube. I, I'm gonna post the whole. Well, the whole vod is gonna be on YouTube, if you want to see. It. And I think it, the whole vod is gonna live on uh, Facebook too when the stream. It's gonna ends. live forever. I mean, technically, I, it, it, unless someone deletes it, unless Zuck zucks it. So, but that's that's the other thing too is like a lot of people when they stream, they like play along to youtube they like just play along to cover this i don't want to do that either mm. and that's another thing okay so i'm, I'm getting on a, a roll here but that's another thing on tiktok wh where it's just a sh bunch of people they're like hey we're all duetting this cover song yeah and it's like yay uh i don't know like i like what brett Co crow does because he duets like there's a video that has a rhythmic element to he'll, it. He'll do it like some random shit. Yeah, he'll do it like it's a, like a cheese factory and, and the cheese is going conk, 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 conk. And he'll like he'll like go dur, 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 or something like that. He'll like make it. It's a, funny. He'll He's, make it a meme. Yeah. But but like I feel like when I first got on the app, it's just like, hey, we're doing Africa by Toto. And there's a guy on drums over here. And it, I, I don't know. The people I find on the app are people like yourself. They're they're like out of the box doing some wacky shit. I w I'm like a little jealous of Brett Coe because I have, I don't know how he does it. Like I don't know how to duet a video. I sat there for hours. Like I feel like an old like geezer. You, I cannot duet a video. You need to uh you need to buy this device. It's called an iRig. Okay. Yeah, and and since you get okay, so when you go back. To Berkeley, get an iRig rig and start duetting and start like soloing over random shit. It, it'll That's what I wanted to do, but I have so many things saved, but I just like don't know how to do it. Yeah, so here, I'll show it to you when we're done doing this. It's a, it's a, like a hundred dollar thing. It's called an iRig. rig, and pretty much what it does is it gives you a DI right into your phone. So it's like it's like you know, see so you got this interface, 
It's like if the output for the interface was a lightning cable going in, into your iPhone. And that lets you record duets? Yeah, because what it'll do is it gives you playback uh, in real time, and it records your actual DI bass on a, on a separate track. Is there a way to do that with vocals? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can, you can use it for both. You because what happens when I do it is there's some sort of delay, like... It, like, that's how you bypass it. it. It's a little tricky at first, but, yeah, you can do okay. it. Sick. Dude, I'm going to make so much fucking content. What's funny is I didn't make content for, like, a year, and now, like, that I'm laid off, I'm like, I got to, like, I'm just bored. You, c okay, this person's saying 3,000 followers you can stream on OBS. You should be able to, but only some people got that update, and I didn't, so I can't actually do it unfortunately yes yeah, uh well that's what my friend nick was saying he's like you should uh restream to tiktok as well but i don't know there's a part of me there's a part of me that uh, i don't know i like i like being on kick and twitch and youtube and and then yeah. i like i like just cutting up shit and putting it on tiktok as clips but but there's something to be said there do you know freak base yeah freak base is like killing it on tiktok lives right now so I was trying to do that, but I like don't know. I don't understand. People are just like, play this song. I'm like, I don't want to play that song. I just want to play funky beat. I just want a vibe, dog. Literally. You can use an audio interface as well. I don't know. We're all going to figure it out we in 2024. It. We're going to figure out. We're going to make our dreams come true. Right? We're going to make our dreams come true. I stream on TikTok all Doing the time. Doing it all. Oh, you. I, s I do TikTok streams all the time, but it's just bad quality because it's through my phone microphone. Do you find that, uh, but are, do, are people hassling you? Like, or is it no, just happening every think, once in a while? But I think that if I could stream through like a camera and a microphone and all that, it would just be better. You know, mm -hmm. like it would be higher quality. People Have you done it with your iPhone 15 yet? Um, today I did. All right. Well, hey. This the and it worked well. It's the beginning of the rest <laughs> of your life. Hell yeah. Dude, it's on. All right, I'm going to stop the stream. YouTube is pretty easy to stream out for sure. I know. I'm doing it right now. Mm -hmm. So happy birthday to me and Izzy in, what, three weeks. Hell yeah. And then I'll I keep looking over and just watching myself do stupid shit. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what streaming is. Yeah. It's funny because you should, like, I should be looking right at the camera, but I'm always, I'm always looking at an image of myself on a screen. <laughs> you know? I just like look over and I see myself like scratching my head and like smiling. And I'm like, you oh. see yourself being a human being. It's, yeah. It's weird, dude. But we're here. All right. That's it. Um, yeah. Everyone go follow Izzy and everyone. Oh, I'm putting out a vinyl. Uh, I just got the. Yeah. So I'm going to be uh, pre-sales for my vinyl pretty soon. It's going to be pretty stupid. So my body's ready. Everyone have a great night. I'm going to hit the button. Have a good one. I'm going to hit the button. That's cool. We have zero drop frames. We uh, we stream for two hours. That's good. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't. I never say hell yeah, but today I've said it like 50 times. Yeah, you got to stop that. Yeah, I got to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, I, don't, I do. <laughs> I don't give a shit. You can say whatever you want. You could say, hey, that's neato.